Collier Jennings. I work with Epic. I have the title of Director of Communications and Content Development. Epic has been an organization of only volunteers for 10 years and then one employee for a few more years. Um, so I do sort of a bit of everything. We are a professional organization designed to bring together and support people doing applied ethnography in all kinds of settings. We want to develop our work and our skills and our expertise as well as expand the sort of possibilities for the work happening, which we all know is sort of a challenge to convince organizations that they need to do research at all so that they can support the work and also you know, become organizations that can learn from this kind of research. Epic started um, with a very s small network of colleagues. So they felt that there were these academic conferences, anthropology conferences, and then there were industry conferences, and there wasn't a place where they really could meet, <laughs> talk about applied work in a sort of theoretically rich way, develop new theory around that. And on the, on the other side, there's a huge amount of hostility toward people who work in, in the business environment. There are several kind of moves, I think, we want to make around agency as a community. An agency is um, so very often, you know, interpreted as sort of an individual choice issue. The, the big issues of the day, you know, like privacy and usability and all these things are really, really framed in terms of an individual having more, you know, maybe they just need more data to make better choices and, you know, let's give them more control to you know, let's give them more privacy choices. Um, and, and so as social scientists, we want to say, actually, you know, there's these bigger, more systemic things going on about like what privacy is. So, you know, take the step back and say, well, what is agency? There's just always a, a really sort of important incentive for international collaboration and understanding really how work and thinking evolves differently in different places. In the U.S., big multinational corporations, right, that are quite Anglo-centric and U.S.-centric, you know, it's quite easy for us to replicate this kind of homogenizing approach to research and then, and then sort of start to commodify things as UX research and replicate sort of like this is how to do the work. Um, and I think it's really important not to do that and maintaining this kind of international diversity of understanding. Oh my gosh. Oh, you, you, you actually would think that I would have thought about this before. Right? I'm a little bit of a purist and a snob about dark chocolate. So I try to not be that way. <laughs> I think it's the opposite about what I try to do as a, a communicator. I think that there is there is some important heart and principles of what we do, but also understanding that you know, you have to sort of meet people where they are in terms of engaging and communicating and making things important and relevant to them on their own terms. That's not how I feel about chocolate. <laughs> <laughs>